Hey guys, welcome back to Biomedication. Today is the day 4 of completing human reproduction in which we'll study all about fertilization and implantation in detail. Please this video ko end tak dekhna because this is the best animated lecture you'll ever find. So without wasting any more time, let's begin. Fertilization or fusion of gametes is the most vital event in the process of sexual reproduction as it results in new life in human. While the male gamete or sperm is motile, the female gamete or ovum is non-motile. Therefore, for fertilization to occur, the two gametes must be brought together. This is achieved by insemination, where the penis releases semen with thousands of sperms into the vagina. Interestingly, while half of the sperms released carry the X chromosome, the other half contain the Y chromosome. These sperms then rapidly move through the cervix and finally reach the ampullary stomach junction of the fallopian tube. In the meantime, the ovum after completing the first meiotic division gets released into the fallopian tube with a rupture of graphene follicle. Upon its release, the ovum begins to undergo second meiotic division. However, the division does not go beyond the first phase. Interestingly, the ovum contains only the X chromosome. Studies have shown that the ovum is filled with the cytoplasm called the yolk or vitellus, surrounded by the membrane called the vitelline membrane. The vitelline membrane is enclosed in another membrane called zona pellucida. However, there is some space between the zona pellucida and the vitelline membrane which is called the perivitelline space. Surrounding the zona pellucida is a layer of granulosa cells called the cells of corona radiata. The ovum present in the fallopian tube now starts drifting towards the uterus. Once it reaches the ampullary stomach junction, the ovum gets bombarded by several thousand sperms. However, only one sperm penetrates the zona pellucida and initiates the fertilization process. Moreover, this penetrating sperm includes the zona pellucida to stiffen, which prevents other sperms from entering the ovum after gaining entry through the zona pellucida. The acrosome present over the sperm's nucleus starts secreting enzymes that aids the sperm head to get through the ovum cytoplasm. While the sperm sheds its tail, the fertilized egg now resumes the remaining phases of the second meiotic division. However, this division begun unequal results in the formation of two unequal bodies, a haploid body called uted and a second polar body. While the nucleus of the sperm fused together to form a diploid zygote. Did you know that the sex of the zygote is decided at the time of fertilization? If the ovum is fertilized by a sperm containing the X chromosome, the resulting zygote contains XX chromosome and could develop into a female. However, if a sperm containing Y chromosome fertilizes the ovum, the resultant XY zygote develops into a male. Thus, it is the sperm that decides the sex of the fetus and not the ovum. A little more than a day after its fusion, the zygote starts moving the fallopian tubes. Simultaneously, the zygote also undergoes meiotic division and with each successive division, the number of daughter cells doubles. This division is termed as cleavage, while the resultant daughter cells are called the blastomeres. About 3 days after the fertilization, the zygote contains nearly 8 to 16 cells and is called a morula. Over a period of 2 days, the morula descends down into the uterus and transforms itself into a blastocyst, a hollow ball composed of about 100 blastomeres which are arranged in 2 layers. The outer layer called the tropoblast eventually gives rise to the placenta while the inner layer consisting a group of cells called the inner cell bonds eventually differentiates to form the embryo. Interestingly, at the blastocyst stage, the zygote now called the embryo gets attached to the uterus as the tropoblast grows outwards and penetrates the endometrial lining of the uterus. In response, the endometrial cells divide and start surrounding the blastocyst. 
This causes the blastocyst to sink and get implanted into the uterus. Once implantation has occurred, pregnancy gets initiated. Moreover, after implantation, inner cell mast cells get differentiated and begin to form embryo. Embryo formation is a complex process that begins with fertilization and ends with implantation of the embryo. If you are new, I'd like to say, go watch all the parts of human reproduction and check out the playlist section of our channel. I'm sure you'll find some amazing stuff that will help you. Also, don't forget to like, comment the topic or chapter you want our next video on because we upload every day at 10.30 a.m. And trust me, there is nothing you'll leave for me. And why keep searching for videos online when you can get the personalized video of your own requested topic or chapter and that too within just 24 hours? So click on the red button and join your personalized crash course for free. Bye-bye!